Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the all so you get future videos. So on today's uh, video, we're gonna look at a comet, uh, CAA-500 Mark II. So let's get on with the show. Okay, for reference for today's video, this is going to be the two meter Yagi that I'll put on the analyzer. And uh, I'm just going to put this on the analyzer and go through it. I don't really have a easy way of adjusting anything on it. Okay, when I do the adjusting, I'm going to do it on this antenna. It's, it's become my, my kind of go-to for POTOS lately. It's a... Uh, MFJ, 17 foot stainless steel whip, it extends. Okay, when I do the adjustments on it, I already know that if I bring this section, I put the thing all the way out, I bring this section down to here, it gets me really close to 20. And then a little farther, someplace else there, I've got it for uh, 15 also, or 17, I forget which. So when I do the adjustments, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go halfway and then all the way. And then I'll show you those adjustments. So this is just for reference so that I don't have to walk back and forth once I set up my camera. What I'm trying to show you guys in all these videos about making your own antennas is that anybody can make an antenna. Don't, uh, don't be afraid of it. Uh, you, can use a, you can use the meter off your radio. You can use uh, you know, an SWR meter. Or you can use one of these uh, meters that I'm showing here today. There's, there's cheaper ones, a Nano VNA. A little, little more work to work it, but once you learn it, I'm sure it's fine. So don't be afraid to make your own antennas. It's part of being a ham. You don't have to, but I think you should be able to do it. Just to, uh, like I said before, if you're out in the field and something happens, you'll know how to fix it most likely. All right, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks. So t for today, we have a Charlie Alpha Alpha dash 500 mark II, made by comet antenna analyzer this is the second version of this uh, antenna analyzer um, so to turn it on hit the power button i've got it hooked up to a uh, to like a, a two meter yagi right now so to change bands you have the band select over here And that's this one here. So we'll go all the way over. So there's uh, the 160 band. Just keep moving your way up. There's the uh, 40 meter band. 20. Ten meter band. Then we're going to go right back up to 140 here. Once you get the band set, then you have the fine frequency set here. So this, this antenna was basically built for 144.2, actually 144.3. That's pretty close. So it shows 1.3. The ohms are, oh, about 48 and this antenna actually has the wrong elements on it for the everything but the driven right now but it's close enough so then if you do, if you want to go up and you can sweep this you'll see you'll see it go up to 50 actually that, that SWR got better right there is 1.2 and we're actually out of the band there though so one of the popular 140 147, 195 is popular around here for repeater. So it's about uh, 1.3 there also. So pretty much will cover FM and sideband. Now, if you want to do a sweep on it, you can do a center sweep. And let's, I don't, let's sit there around 146. Um, so you just push the button 
and it does a sweep. You can see the red line at the bottom. And we're two, plus or minus two megahertz. So pretty simple. All right, what I have on here right now is a uh, 70 foot MFJ stainless steel whip. And I think I, before this, I showed you the reference antennas that we're gonna use for this. So it's this antenna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it up for 20 meter. So we're gonna take this, we'll adjust it down to 20. If you look right there, it shows 14. Okay, I've got this set at 14 to 50-ish. Um, it's kind of the middle of the general band. So we're going to do a sweep real quick and just see where our antenna is. Okay, so it rounded off to 14.2. So we can see right now that our antenna is actually long because it's the it's lower SWR in the lower part of the band, which usually means that your antenna is a little long. Okay, say we're we want, we're going to adjust this antenna. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the graph on. We're going to hit the AP button. Going to hit the sweep button. Now you can see the sides. The two sides are how much. Uh, bandwidth we're going to show. So now we can adjust that. So let's go. It was showing 300 before. Okay. So now we're going to push sweep. Actually, we push the AB, AP button. And now we're just going to take this. We're going to run it back and forth real slow. And as you go back and forth, it kind of brings that red line in. Now what we're going to do, let me go adjust the antenna. I'll be right back. All right, I've adjusted the antenna. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the AP switch again. And now if you look up here, it shows blue in this corner. It's probably hard to see in the picture, but let me now let me go back and forth. Already looking a little bit better. I'll adjust it one more time where I think it's going to be right. I'll be right back. All right, we hit the AP button again. It looks like it's green now. We'll do the same thing again. We just go back and forth all the way that way. It's pretty low now. I can't even see it. But you see how that works. So now we're going to go graph off. 2.5. We're 1.3 now. So, and we're right at 50 now. 1.2. Okay, so 13.720. 1.1 at 13.9. So it's still a little bit long. Fourteen two fifty, three hundred, one point three, one point four, and we're pretty much to the end there. But so let's go back to two fifty. I'm going to shorten this thing just a little bit more and see if we can get it even better. Close enough. So we're one point three. I'll be right back. Hopefully you guys can see the gauge.
So it looks like about 1.2 is what we're going to get here. Let's see. Yeah. So that's fine. I mean, 1.2 is great, and it's about 50 ohms. All right, another feature this uh, has is you can actually turn it, have it self turn off. So to do that, to adjust that, you, you push the AP button and hold it. Then it says it's set off for five minutes. And then you take your frequency thing here. Whoops, it's this one. I guess it's this one. Yeah, this one here. You can go up to nine minutes, or you can go to zero, which it won't turn off. So this is not mine. I'm going to set it back to the five minutes, and then you just push the button, and you're back into mode. It has a battery gauge, and this thing is way better on batteries, from what I hear, than the MFJs, which are very similar. Um, tells you SWR, your ohms. So we're at 48 ohms right now. 49, 50. There's 50 ohms right there at 152 all right well this thing this thing is very well built um let's just weigh it let's see what it weighs i want ounces right now it weighs 34.32 ounces now i have my uh i bought a rig expert before i knew i was going to get into two meter and stuff so i didn't buy one good enough that's why i had to borrow this one let's just see how it how much it weighs um 11.8 ounces so it's a little lighter. I would say the quality on the uh, Comet is, if you break that thing, you, you're throwing it off a cliff. This one, I've had this for quite a while, and it's worked really well. Good quality on it also. Okay, as you can see on the left, you have an SO239 for 1.8 to 300 megahertz. And on the right, you have a N connector for 300 to 500 megahertz. Each of these you can put adapters on to adapt to whatever you need. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the show today. Uh, I tried to show as best I could how this thing works. I don't have a whole lot of time with it yet. I'm just borrowing it. But uh, it's, a, it's a really, really good analyzer. And I, I, I just might have to pick one up one of these days. Hope my wife doesn't watch this one. Um, they're about $339, I think, right now, as of uh, November of uh, 2020. They actually went down. I think they were more uh, kind of hard to find, too. It seems like a lot of people are buying these. Uh, they're, they've got a pretty good reputation now. So if you like today's show, hit the like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit the bell. And when the bell pops up, hit all. That will give you all of my new videos that I that I uh, I upload to YouTube. So, thanks for joining me today, you guys. Hopefully, everybody's being safe. This is Chuck KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Seventy-three all.